Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we're going to speak about uh, the Nox.js and how you can create uh, a server middleware by, uh, by the Nox.js. And in this video we are going to do about the sitemap. All websites need a sitemap and I know you can create a sitemap basically just uh, after the box to install some plugins, something like that. But my recommendation is creating it yourself, use the time to understand how the sitemap is working and uh, then you can get a, a much better product about that. That's just my recommendation. Uh, so yeah, we will use um, Express.js for this video and of course Nox.js and then we want to build a server middleware so you can understand how that will work. I'll just use a static uh, uh, the way to use that, so you can replace the static out of uh, some API or something you want. It, it's definitely up to you, it's uh, how it's working. So let's go ahead and let's start into code. Before we are starting 100%, then please go in for the right corner below the video and click on the thing, then you will subscribe to this channel and get more videos when I push it out. Um, thank you so much and if you have any questions please make a comment below. I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. So let's go ahead to build some sitemap in Nox.js. So let's go in for the server middleware and create a new file called sitemap slash index.js. Then we are prepared to start. The only thing we're gonna do now is just say const and express is equal to require express and then we need the app is express and then we need the sitemap and we just the route sorry route and then we need use sitemap and model export is equal to Sitemap. But no, that's fine. Not the XML, just handler app. Save it and it's, no, it's not crashing because we not use it anymore. Anything now? So let's create the the routes.js inside the routes. We want to build here the router equal to express and const router is equal to router const then we need the, the generate save sitemap here Need a parser. Alright, router get and we need something dot XML. And what we're gonna do here is say async, so it's not blocking anything. Function should be rest, rest, and Going inside here and uh, want to try here and of course we have a catch if something is going wrong and that's we're going to do this one and say model exports equal to router and I'll just add the parser. We don't get this. What we're gonna do now is uh, create the sitemap index. What I promised you, it's uh, basically just a static one. And what I'm doing here is say lock and say a 
and then you say last mod whoops last mod is equal to 20 21 0, 1, 0, 1. that's fine and then we say if sitemap index if it exists then we go inside here and we're trying to make res that header and and type should be application XML and then we say send generate type map type map index and we want to say HTTPS and then we say the host and why we do this is because we need the host name and we can't read inside for now so that's why we're gonna do this one so, okay. first hit us host and everything is fine and now we only need to build the generate sitemap as we uh, import it here from the parser so basically we don't need anything more inside the, the routes here and that's beautiful so we only need to go inside um, go inside the parser here and say the model export is equal to this one and what is site map and a host and that's export everything we need to build a header const of the XML and this one should be a default one you will see this one it's in many language so it's nothing rocket science here encoding F8 here and uh, then we just say let XML is equal to XML header and then you all set and then we need the below and say return XML and XML is equal to if I can hit the keyboard right then we use the UL set so uh, it's the root of the sitemap and then we shall share sitemap for each and then we say item go inside here and say xml it's equal to dual block oops and we need to say item block And then we need last mod, and then we need the same one, item last mod, and then we basically should be almost ready to go inside to the index here and say well, and we call it sitemap. Let's see how that's react in the browser. And you can see we have it here. So let's going back. I will just close this one. Let's going back for the editor and going for the roots and just copy this and say A, B and this 11 and going back and reload it again. And you can see it's instantly working. So that's how you are working with the sitemap inside the Nox.js and it's working pretty smooth and it's not so hard to do. And congratulations, you have built your first custom sitemap in Nox.js. I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner and then you are ready to, to follow the next videos I am creating. And thank you so much and if you have any questions please make comments below and don't forget 
all the code will be on my GitHub. So it's ready for just download and use. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.